everyone. Welcome back to Mail Time. Um, I think this is probably going to be the last episode in the Mail Time series because uh, I think we're going to finish the game today. Also, I'm trying out um, instead of a green screen background, I'm just going to set myself in front of the actual game screen. So let me know if you guys like it or not. Um, trying it out for the first time, so we'll see how that goes. So we have a couple of items on the list right now. We have to go to Ham. We have to go to Kaz, and we still need to find Greg. I don't know who Greg is. At this point, I might never know who Greg is, and that's fine. But let's go to Ham first. I haven't played in a little bit, so we'll see if I remember what to do. Ham is so far away. I know that for sure. Every time we need to go to him, we just have to go up and around and over and under and through the picnic. I was about to say through the woods, but we don't go through the woods. We go through the picnic. Here he is. Wow, what you got for me now? So, Shelby, right? She gave me her leftovers to take to you. I was to take these to your mouth directly. It's kind of weird. Oh, that's kind. What is it? Their fave food is french fries dipped in pickle juice. Okay. Well, it's worth a try, I suppose. I like french fries. I like pickles. This should be a slam dunk. Munch, munch. And? No. See, that's what I would think if I dipped french fries in pickle juice, so not a surprising reaction there. Oh, dear. This is the worst of both worlds, actually. I'm running out of hope. I thought we would have had something by now, but I'm gaining nothing and losing hope. That's not true. Now you have a better idea of the things you don't like. You're that much closer to finding what you love. I suppose you're right. Come on, Ham, one more. Socks is really elusive. They must be hiding a really big culinary secret. Could you take this letter to Socks then, please? Of course, Ham. Don't you worry, it'll all work out. <gasps> Socks is close by. Yay, 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 yay. Socks. There he is, our grumpy little caterpillar. Mail delivery for Socks? Me. Huh. Didn't know your name was an acronym. What does it stand for? Socks give hint. First S stand for Socks. Naturally. Well, Socks, you have a note from Ham. I don't know why they sent each other mail when they could have just walked like two feet. <laughs> read with sound. You can't read it yourself? Never learn how. Oh, I can teach you to read. Deanna, Deanna, Deanna. No. <laughs> if Socks read, Socks may be too powerful. Risky. I... You know what? Sure, fine. Ham wrote, Through eating, I can become like you. This is the worst one yet. Ah, understand. Ham want good food, see? Yeah. So, what's the sock specialty? Crayon. C crayon? See. Dirt rolled crayon. Why the dirt? Seasoning. Socks, I... Why do you even eat crayons? Why, Deanna, not? Eat crayons, see color. That's how world work. Hmm. <laughs> how many crayons have you eaten? Now? Yeah, so far, how many crayons? Mmm, 15? What? Maybe less, maybe more. I'll become blur after 10. I guess that's what eating crayons does to you. Do you maybe have a crayon I can bring to ham? Cece. Best flavor, blue crayon. Rolled in dirt already, no worry. Tastes like... No. Socks keep surprise for ham. Great. Well, thanks, Socks. Not problem. This first time Socks enjoy talk to Deanna. Mmm, thanks, Socks. <laughs> thanks, Socks. Says we gotta go back to ham. We got the blue crayon. To be honest, things that are blue flavored are the best flavored. Blue raspberry, not natural, but it's the best one. Ham bone! Sorry, it's just ham right now, no bone. Unless I have bones inside me. I think you do ham. <laughs> but don't think so, never seen him. Anyways, yes, what's up? I have socks as snack. It's certainly unique. Brace yourself. A dirty crayon? Is the dirt essential? Sadly, yes. Well, I did ask, I suppose. Here goes nothing. How is it? It's... You don't have to be nice. You can spit it out. Actually, it's not half bad. What? Oh, no. Now it's actually really bad. Oh, dear. I'm feeling all rumbly in my tumbly. Oh, it hurts. Deanna, I need comfort food, blueberries, and cheese. I thought you didn't like that anymore. It's better than this, for sure. Blueberries should be on picnic blanket. The cheese I threw in the trash. Please get them. Sit tight, ham. I'll run back there and back. Please be speedy. Hmm. Scout of the month patch. Whoop, whoop. Blueberries. Ooh. Got the blueberry. And then we got to get up to this trash can. 
Who would throw away cheese? Not me. The cheese! Deanna, please tell me you have blueberry and cheese. Here you go, ham. They are a bit trash flavored. Sorry about that. Anything is better than this. Gulp, munch, 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 munch. I'm healed. Blueberry and cheese with garbage sauce has saved me. This is literally the best food ever. Are you sure you're not delicious? Oh, are you sure you're not delirious from stomach ache or something? No, no, really, I feel all better. The blueberry is really good, and it gets even better with cheese. Gouda cheese is the best of all, but the garbage sauce, transcendent. It's just chef's kiss. This is the best food there is for sure. I should have seen it coming. I feel better than ever. Sure. Well, healthy ham, riddle me this. Do you know where Greg is? Ha, that's easy. Greg doesn't show face too much, but rumor is he lives up on the ridge and keeps out of the valley. Why, I don't know, maybe he got sick of the rest of us. Either way, he still hangs with Jim. Jim is one of a kind, you could say. Still elusive, but less so than Greg. Jim tends to stick to the pond above the waterfall. He should be able to point you towards Greg. Thanks, Ham. I'll go check it out. Bye. Thanks for the foods. <gasps> Jim. Where's Jim? Okay, let's go to Kaz first. I found something. Oh. Ah! Well, I'm not going to get it. <laughs> if I don't need it, I'm not going back. It's too far away. Kaz! Ah, bonjour, petite scout de mail. Hi, cat. Wow, did you make that? Hee <laughs> hee, I did. It's wonderful, Kaz. Hmm, smells like paint and a touch of vanilla and rose, a hint of lavender. Oh, you just, nothing to smell here but colors, my friend. A veritable universe of hues. I eat, sleep, and breathe paint. Hey, buddy, take a few deep breaths. Wait, no, don't. I mean, maybe just put the paint tubes down for a second. I have a letter and some good news. Irene called your work a masterpiece and Kiki ate it up. Not literally, don't worry. Your masterpiece is signed and on its way to be cashed in. Well, not signed by you, sadly, but that's probably better. That'd be like signing your name under, well, something illegal. I don't care it's not signed by me. I've experienced ego death, my friend. I need no mortal possessions or esteem. I must simply create. Is it okay if I do a big spring cleaning in here then? No! Don't touch my shinies. Exactly. I think what you need is a nap. Maybe some water, not paint water. Mon Dieu, a nap does sound actually very nice. Go count some sheep. No more worrying about work. The creating can also wait till tomorrow. You'll still be you, pure, intuitive, and wondrous, but then also with a clear mind. Oh, Mon Dieu, that monologue worked wonders. Almost bored me to sleep. Wow, can't believe you'd insult me like that, stinky crow. Ha ha ha. Oh, one last thing before you can get ready for your nap. Do you happen to know someone by the name of Greg? Greg? As in Gregory? My, my, my. I almost forgot he was still around. He tends to keep to himself, you see. He has a nice spot up on the ridge. Doesn't come down into the valley much. I do know that he's good friends with Jim, though. I don't mind Jim. He seems to be a fellow artiste like myself. The same person in different fonts, if you will. He's a bit elusive, but he's usually up near the pond above the waterfall. Hope that gives you a place to start looking. That's great, Cass. Thanks a bundle. <gasps> Let's go find Greg. Jim! Jim, Jim! I've got all the patches I need. Wonderful! And you've finished everything you wanted to? After getting to Greg's place, you're probably leaving immediately. Mail scout protocol and all. Oh yeah, I'll be sure to finish up my deliveries then. When you're ready, just glide up with the air from the hot spring on my house. I've just opened it up, so you should be able to glide across now. Oh, easy peasy. And then just find your way through the overgrown bush. You're going the right way as long as you're going generally up. You'll see Greg's cave. It's pretty big. Less easy peasy. But not impeasable. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. The hot spring. <gasps> okay, we gotta go up. Okay, go up. Huh? I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I did that wrong. <laughs> okay, again. Going up! Going up! And let's go this way! Hopefully we make it. Do 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 do! Boom! Now where is Greg? Oh, I totally just bounced off that one. Okay. 
Jim said to just keep going up. I think this is up. <gasps> yes, another hot tub, hot spring. This way. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I almost didn't make it again. Is this him? Well, where are we going in the mountains? <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> it's Greg. <gasps> Hello? Mr. Greg, I have a letter for you. It's kind of important. Wake up! Do you think he's dead, B? Bzzz. Maybe we should poke him with a stick to cheek. Bzzz. Okay, I won't poke the bear. Bzzz. What? Do you think he's gone into hibernation? What's that? Bzzz. Oh, like a super nap. That's okay. We'll just wait for him to wake up. <laughs> That's gonna be a long time. Bzzz, bzzz. What? Bzzz, bzzz. Well, for how long? Bzzz, bzzz. Until spring! But then I can't deliver the letter today. Bzzz. Leave it here? Absolutely not. Someone else might take it. It's not the male scout way. Bzzz. I don't want to go ask Janet for help. Bzzz. Fine, I'll do it. Janet's probably still at the van. We... We have to go back to Janet? Bruh. We came so far, we have to go back to Janet? Uh, I think she's like literally over here. Free fall. Boop, 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 boop. I thought Janet would be here. She was here when I left and didn't seem to be intent on moving. Bzz, what's that, B? Bzz, bzz, bzz. You can smell where Janet went? I didn't know bees could smell. A hundred times better than I can. Wow, all right. Sniff the way, bee detective. Where are we going? <gasps> Janet! <gasps> Surprise! What? Congrats on your first completed assignment! Oh, oh my god, look at their party! Oh, oh, Shelby, Shelby's getting, she's getting down. Ooh, Janet! Well, guys, I think that is it for mail time. I My game is glitching and it won't let me talk to Janet as much as I've tried. I've tried a few times, I've reloaded it. It, it won't let me talk to her. Um, but overall, it was a really fun game. It was really, really cute, and I really loved all the characters. Shelby is, she's getting down. Clarence is getting down. You can see that I don't even know what's happening. Everyone's floating in the air. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching Mail Time. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do. It's available on Steam, and it's an indie game. I think it's coming out on Switch soon, too. But anyways, hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!